What's happening, you bad motherfuckers over at Patreon? It's the 10th of February, and I wanted to hit you with an album that I think it fucking took everybody by storm. This video took me by storm. Fucking smells like teen spirit. It really did. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, what the fuck? All these people jumping around. And after a few weeks, I was like, holy shit. The album this week is Nevermind, released, I think, September 24th of 1991. It's Nirvana's second album. Like I was telling Mike, I forgot the first album. Nobody, a lot of people don't know about the first album because this just uh, swept them off their fucking feet. You know, this album, uh, Bad Motor Finger, fucking Pearl Jam Black, whatever the fuck, 10, whatever it's called. We just featured that a few weeks ago. You can't feature that. You can't feature anything after 91 without talking about this album. This album change the game if you talk to these guys i read in an interview where and if you really think about it, this album sounds great and they said it was a mixture of like punk rock the smithereens rem and shit like that i just hear a little bit of the smithereens i don't hear no fucking rem in here i don't hear nobody else in here i hear a fucking band that i never heard before to be honest with you that's what i hear on here was i crazy about this album when it first came out no, but I wasn't crazy about a lot of albums when it first came out. They got to grow on you. And sometimes you hear something that you didn't hear the first time and you visit it again and go, oh shit, I was wrong. I wasn't wrong about this album. I enjoyed this album. I didn't know it was going to be a fucking culture changing out. This is grunge. This is it right here. This is the beginning of fucking grunge. And this album, between you and me, this album could be a greatest hits album. What qualifies now to be greatest hits album? Three good songs. This one has like six fucking good songs. Four of them that fucking killed, right? Like four, four songs on this. Yeah. Lithium. Most of them. Holy shit. And also, a lot of people don't know this is Dave Grohl's first album with the band. And Mike was saying they had a guitar player or something. This album is great. It's the 180 gauge. Mike, what'd you pay for it? 20 bucks. It's on fucking Amazon. 1800 gauge. It's heavy. I mean, it probably doesn't give you the stuff the original album gave you. I mean, you got your fucking sleeve. But then you got this in there. And I've always liked these. These tell you little things. I mean, this didn't tell me about Dave Grohl. I just remembered from the album. But what's here in here is Spring is Here Again. Tender age and bloom. He knows not what it means. Sell the kids for food. We can have some more. The water's so yellow, I'm healthy. Student, you're my vitamins. Take your time. Hurry up. The choice is yours. Don't be late. I mean, it's lyrics from the whole, every song. It's fucking great. This is fucking great, wouldn't you? So, uh, yeah, this album, let me read you the fucking songs for this. I love this album cover. If I was this kid, I would have sued too because my dick is out. You understand me? I don't want nobody seeing what my dick is out when I'm fucking a kid. But this album has Smells Like Teen Spirit, In Bloom, Come As You Are, Breathe, Lithium. I, I, that's not much. And you got Polly. Side two is Terrestrial Pissings, Drain You, Tremendous, Lounge Act, Stay Away, Tremendous, On a Plane, and something in the way. It's their first album on Sub Pop. You know, as soon as I saw Sub Pop, Sub Pop was the first record. This is the first album on Geffen. On Geffen, okay. So they were with Sub Pop though yeah. on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's funny because when I saw the Sub Pop on it, brought back, <laughs> you see that thing on stickers all over yeah. town and all the tree stuff. But no, this album is worth every penny. For 22 bucks, you're out of your fucking mind. If you don't have this album, you should be shot and fucking hung. You know, this album started it all. This album, I always talk about what happened if Leonard Skinner wouldn't die. What would have happened if this album was never come out? What would have happened if fucking Pearl Jam 10 had never come out or Black or whatever the fuck it's called? Because I, when I think of those, the grunge scene, this is my first thought. And that's my second thought. Honest to God. Soundgarden, I didn't think of till later. Alice in Chains, I don't think of till later. This is the album to fucking introduce you to grunge. 
tremendous fucking album. I read the songs. It doesn't get no better than this. If you don't have Nevermind, go fuck your mother, cocksuckers, and put your wings in ranch because you fucking belong to each other. Have a great week. I love you, cocksuckers, with all my heart. Thank you very much, Patreon, for enjoying Nevermind. <laughs>